Can I have your attention? Can I have your attention? Okay, enough of that. There are things that you can do every single week in Final Fantasy XIV. It's on a weekly reset that'll help you out as a player. MMOs have a lot to do, so hopefully this list here will help you get everything that you need to get done on a weekly basis. These aren't mandatory, but these are things that are tied to a weekly reset every single week on Tuesdays. So first and foremost, the things that I like to do are Wondrous Tales. You get these from Chloe in Ishgard. And for those who are leveling, this is very important because you get one of these a week and it's about a half a level worth of XP if you do any of these nine or once you do all of these nine tasks, excuse me. And if you get lucky with a line, you can get some really nice rewards from these. Another thing you can do for leveling and just gill in general is the challenge log. So there's a bunch of different tasks you can complete. This resets every single week and the things that you have to do vary from tasks of like doing weekly dungeons, giving people comms, doing leave quests and fates. It's very simple, very straightforward. I think it's a good way to level characters that are really low level or classes that are really low level as some of these give XP. But at the very least, you should be doing these because it nets you about 150k gil a week for those who are looking to make more gil. Other things that make gil that are on a weekly reset, if you happen to be level 70, is the Dolmen Enclave. I covered some of these in a gil making video, but every single week you have the opportunity to donate and make an additional 40k worth of gil if you happen to have locked all of the quest line. It's not, it's kind of lengthy, but it's another way you can make additional gil. Next is a two for one is the CAC pot and the fashion report, both rewarding MGP. You go to the golden saucer for both of these. You can buy three tickets for your CAC pot every single week and get a minimum payout of a thousand MGP. Fashion report, regardless if you do everything that you need in order to get a score of 80 you'll guaranteed 10k mgp but if you do the fashion report and get a score of 80 you will get 60k mgp which can be boosted with buffs from your fc or if it's the make it rain event even more you do not need a score of 100 to max this out but there is a title tied to it if you would like to do it one time Usually you can find out what the fashion report is for the week from a variety of sources. Twitter and Reddit are a good place to start. If not, you can follow the Twitter user down above below. It'll be in the description so you know with their picture on the screen. Another relatively simple thing to do, even if you're leveling your crafters and gatherers still, and you want to make a little extra gill or crafting or gathering scripts, your custom deliveries are on a weekly reset. You can do 12 of these a week, six per vendor, up to 12 total. And you can do whether you want crafters or gatherers, whether you want scripts or not, to buy a various amounts of things, and they do net a little bit of gill. I would recommend doing these as this is one of the best ways to level crafters and gatherers early on. The next few are combat related, but I'm going to start out with Unreal. You can do up to two of these a week with retails, with your fox leave challenges, and I would recommend doing these as there's some unique mounts and minions like look at that corgi and look at the cake on that thing. Is it cake or is it a minion? You decide. But I put this on the same difficulty as extremes. They're pretty straightforward and not as challenging as the most recent extremes that have come out, but they're definitely not for the faint of heart. You'll need to put in a little bit of effort to clear these, but I think over time, with enough fox leaves, the rewards are definitely there and it's definitely something that you should try to do every single week. Now I'm going to tie the last two things together that are in a weekly reset because most people know about this and this is going to be your raid lockouts, whether it be your savage tier, your ultimates or your new alliance raids that just came out for 6.3. All of these are in a weekly lockout, whether it be the coin that you get or the gear piece you get, or the book that you get. All of these are in a weekly rockout, so make sure you get these done. And the last one, and I think it's pretty self-explanatory, is your tome reset. This resets every single week. You get 450 causality. This will change in the future. At some points, at the very end of expansions, it'll be 900. I think all players that play any combat-related content at all, you do not have to be super hardcore or you can be the most casual person in the world and I still think you will have benefit from capping your tomes as it'll allow you to buy some of the best gear in the game 
which will make learning and experience all types of content, whether it be the new MSQ trials or those who want to delve into rating or extremes will benefit from. So this is something that I would definitely recommend you do every single week. I think it's pretty self-explanatory and pretty known amongst the community that this is on a weekly lockout. I just want to include it so this list has everything that is in a weekly lockout. But yeah, hopefully you found this video helpful. But as always, I hope you have a great day.